there's a place, a place out in the valley. It's a Los Angeles landmark. It's called Mark's Tropical Fish. Uh, he's been running the place for 30 years. I've been trying to get in there to do a walkthrough for quite some time, but there was always something going on, uh, either a remodel or a recent relocation. And uh, there's always some reason why I really couldn't get in there. But uh, today I called and uh, he was agreeable to have me come by. So let's go, let's go take a look at Mark's. Mark's Tropical Fish, a landmark here in Southern California. So I'm in North Hollywood and uh, what is called sometimes the NoHo District. It's Mark's, Mark's Tropical Fish. Let's go inside and take a look. So I'm inside the shop and I'm here with uh, Mark. And uh, this is Mark, the owner. Hey, Mark. Hey. How long have you owned this? Uh, you've been in the business over 30 years, I think, right? Well, I opened Mark's Tropical Fish in, uh, originally in Studio City in 1981. 81. For wow. February 21st, exactly. And uh, about eight months ago, I moved my shop about 2.6 miles from here, from Studio oh. City to the NoHo Arts District. Uh, for those of you who don't know where that is, it's uh, kind of downtown North Hollywood. Um, it's uh, the happening place these days, uh, so they tell me. I, I, most of my customers from the other shop came over here to, to check out the new store and have saved customers, and we picked up a lot of new business. This area is chock full of apartments and condos and, and uh, housing all over the place that's popping up, so we're picking up a lot of new customers. Very nice. Uh, COVID-19 seems to have, uh, unfortunately, helped our business, but uh, I can't complain. A lot of people are stuck at home and either revitalizing their old uh, hobby of having an aquarium or have more time on their hands. So the store, the shop's been quite busy and we're, we're pretty happy. Uh, that's after that's great. That's great. Like that, I, di I didn't expect this much business so soon. That's great news, actually. Yeah. And. Um, so you like it here? I mean, this shop looks a lot nicer, a lot cleaner, a lot, a lot more modern than the last one. Well, I, essentially, I, I, I basically jumped everything I had. That shop was 40 years old. It needed everything. Wow. So I built a brand new store. I don't think I brought more than 5% of the old store over here. This is 95% brand new, uh, all new acrylic tanks, new systems. Uh, it's got a beautiful uh, layout. We've got a nice big skylight in the middle of the shop that brightens up the whole store. And uh, we've been trying to keep up with our demands uh, from our customers by uh, carrying, uh, stocking everything uh, that everybody's asking for. So they have me on my toes. I'm running down to the, the, uh, the fish markets every uh, like every other day, it seems, picking up either freshwater, saltwater, or aquatic plants, or whatever, uh, aquariums. Like so many fish uh, shop owners, you're working seven days a week. Absolutely, we've yeah. always been seven days a week. We're on short hours right now, 11 a.m. to 5 p.m., but we're waiting for the pandemic to, uh, to slow down before we go back to our regular hours. But um, right now, it's seven days a week, 11 to 5 and uh, we, we do special orders if it's within reason. And uh, I think anybody that wants to come down and check out the shop wouldn't be disappointed. You also have a uh, custom installation business, don't you? Yes, um, well, yeah, we design everything from the bottom up. So if you want an aquarium, you got a uh, particular spot in your home, uh, in your office, at your business, if anybody's still going to their business. <laughs> yeah. but, uh, yeah, um, custom tanks take about three weeks, and uh, that's what they're running on the lead time right now. And, and on, uh, on customs like uh, larger saltwater aquariums from 60, 75, 100, 125, 180, 240 gallon, we, we do those too, anywhere all the way up to uh, eight to 10 feet long, so. Uh, awesome. I'll put, a link, I'll put a link to your shop so they can see some of the in the wall installation, yeah. some of the stuff you've done, which is pretty amazing. Okay, well, that'd be great. Yeah. I appreciate it. Um, All right. I think I'll take a walk through and, and take a look at the stock. And Mark, thank you for letting me uh, barge okay, in. Okay, thank you for coming down. Let's uh, start in the front of the shop and work our way back. 
You can see it's got a nice selection of tanks here. Some of these are good size. That 50 gallon tall is really nice. It's got a 75 back there, 75 tall. Pretty nice selection. A little driftwood here on the floor. And some other decorations here along the wall. Got some uh, usual things you see. SpongeBob character, so he's okay. And nice selection of uh, hang on back filters, Ikari foods, some Tetra, Omega One, some Seachem products. Good to see. Some New Life Spectrum. Take a look at his refrigerated products here. Oh, he's got some brine shrimp. Let's take a look in the freezer. Okay. Mysis. That's good stuff. Not the Piscine, though. He's got some Piscine products, though. Take a look down the middle aisle. Well, here's another frozen uh, compartment here. Let's take a look inside of this freezer, see what he's got. Okay, here we go. Here's the mother load. Good selection of uh, quite a few. Quite a few frozen products, including some big pieces for those who own the, the monster fish. Big selection of uh, products right here behind the cash register. You can see here some test kits. Everything is nice and neat, very clean. Some Eheim classics up there. You usually don't see the Eheim. You don't see the Eheim canisters too often these days. Nice to see a couple of them up there. Some more product. Some more of the Seachem products, Prime. Some of the plant additives. Some filter products, some Chemipure. Huh, some Eheim Media. Haven't seen that. Right when you come in, you see some Glowfish. Very popular right now in the hobby. I didn't like them at first, but I think if they get people in the hobby, it's a good thing. You saw a lot of the glowfish? Yeah. Yeah. Pretty popular. Yeah. Kind of eye-catching. I've seen a better glowfish now. Yeah, the, the they're better? pretty cool. Yeah. I actually like them a lot too. Yeah, they're, they're wild, huh? One of my favorite fish here, discus. Back in the day when I used to keep discus, this is where I'd come. Back when he was in in the valley. You need to get through here? Oh, you're gonna come and feed him. And they love those blood worms. One of the signs of how healthy a fish is, how do they eat? These guys are pretty healthy. Very cute. Good looking discus fish. Behind us here, we've got a uh, some cichlids, South American looks like. That's a beautiful fish. Got a knife fish in there. You can make them out. Arowana. Two little nano tanks, real popular. Got some cichlids here, some assorted cichlids. It's got a real nice, uh, real nice Z-Rock. Look at that, the blaze on that guy. Look at the blaze on that guy right there. Very pretty. You got a uh, 
Looks like a dragon blood right there. Very pretty fish. Some Mabuna mixed in here. A few more Mabuna off here to the left. Take a look at some of his salt water. If you like salt water, he's got a good selection here. The frag, the frag tank. Yeah, the camera never really does these corals justice. Here's some more salt. This guy's this guy's pretty amazing. Beautiful. A couple of seahorses here. Look at that. Let's go to the other side. More salt water here out the back. Nice little stingray. Love the look of these saltwater fish. Beautiful. The colors on these guys. Boy, look at that one with the white spots there in the back. I don't know if you can see them. Hiding behind that rock. Absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful. Another one. Some kind of an enemy or something. See an enemy or maybe a soft coral? I'm not that familiar. If you're salty, you can comment below. Beautiful stuff. Boy, these are pretty, aren't they? So he's got an eel. So he's got an eel back here. Wonder if he bites. Trim's going to go taunting. That thing is beautiful. Look at that thing. Absolutely gorgeous. Hey, where's the bird? Oh, there's the bird. Hey, buddy. What's your name? Not talking to me, huh? Be sure to check out the channel. You'll be on the video. Oscars up here. Grummies. Like assortment of uh, betta. 
know, some of you complain you don't like betas in the small cups like this, and I, I just hope that they get sold quickly and go into a decent sized tank. It seems to be very common to display them this way. Some beautiful koi down here. Got some feeder fish. Notice how clean this place is. Hey, look at the red little flower horn here. Really nice. Like a blue purple. Really pretty. A little nice fish in here. Some puffers. Really cute. Really cute. Someday I'd like to have one, maybe. Monos. Some rummy noses. Six for $18.99. Seems like a pretty good deal. Some female guppies. Mickey Bouses. Two for five. These are pretty. Ghost, ghost glass cats. Fancy guppies. That's a pretty fish right there. That's a green, green cobra. Some crips. Oh, you got some geos here. Tiger barbs. Very nice. Algae eaters and kois. Got some very pretty angels up here. Look at these angels, the markings on them. Silver dollars. Really cool looking fish, I think. Nice little live bears. If you look off to the right here, you'll see a little uh, garden of uh, coolie, coolie loaches. Nice. Black Noir, beautiful goldfish. There's some frogs there in the corner. Some long fin rams. Rams are some of my favorite. Long fin goldens here. I just love the way they move. Rose lions, fifteen ninety nine. Beautiful fish. Wonder how big they get. It has a front toast in there. Nice goldfish. Got some fancy goldfish over here. Looks like the ones that Corey used to have behind him in his uh, when he would talk. Corey over at the co-op. More goldfish. Love these plants. Some grummy. Very nice. Sorted cichlids. Look like some a mix of hybrids. There's some smaller angels, probably from that same breeding pair. Very pretty markings. Some neons. Really nice. 
little honey grummies. Very cute. Notice how pristine the tanks are. It's a pretty angel here. I like the way his uh, little pectoral fins there are hanging down so low and they're all white. He's guarding the plants. Nice selection of plants. You know, for the a limited space that he has here, he's making a making good use of it. Love the uh, two tone on that one angel fish with the black. I might be a little crazy, but I think I'm going to pick up a few of these. Kind of pretty, actually. I like that dragon blood. And that OB is kind of pretty, too. I like that Xerox. I like the blaze on that guy. Mark, I think I'm going to bother you and buy some fish. Uh, I don't know if I can do that. It's against my religion. <laughs> The religion of being broke. <laughs> yeah, let's take a let's get a few of the cichlids out of here. Mark, thank you so much for letting me invade. Sure. And what kind uh, of deal should I give you? <laughs> nice. Pick me up a few. What do you think? Pretty good size. Sure. Do you need me to sign anything? Are we good? No, you're good. Good, okay. Thank you, Mark. Yeah, here's a little uh, thank you, Ben. I'll send you a link to the video. Well, that was Mark's. Mark's Tropical Fish in North Hollywood. And he's got a great little shop here. Check him out. He's a, a bit of a landmark here in the neighborhood. Been selling fish for a long time. And I even picked up a few, as you can see here. Let's get those, uh, let's get those guys home, get them floated into the quarantine tank. And uh, I think I got some beauties here at a good price. All right, that's it for me. Thank you for tuning in. Be sure to hit that uh, sub, that like button. And I'll see you on Saturday at Cichlids and Coffee. Thank you, my friends. Bye-bye.